Also a beautiful day to get out there in the garden and get some work done or if it's too hot, maybe you can go to the botanical garden. Today, the doors are opening at the brand new visitor center at the Missouri Botanical Garden. Dr. Peter Wise Jackson, president of Mobot, joins us live this morning from the garden. Talk to us about the Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. It's a real pleasure uh, to have you with us at the garden today. No, it's definitely my pleasure. So let's get right into it. What will people see and kind of experience when they walk into the new visitor center? Well, when they walk in, they will see uh, an extraordinary array of new facilities and amenities. It's, it's really designed to, to make our visitors feel hugely welcome with uh, wonderful restaurants, uh, garden gate shop facilities, videos to tell them about the work of the garden. And then the whole of the great uh, features of the garden uh, spread out and open up for them. Uh, out, out through the doors to the south side. But even inside the building, there is a sense of being one with nature, and that is something which we're so excited about. And how excited are you personally for this new addition? It seems like you, know, you just must be thrilled that it's finally done and people can experience it. Absolutely, uh, it is, it's a thrilling time. This is a real milestone in the long and distinguished history of the Missouri Botanical Garden. And it, it opens a whole new era for the garden when we can do so much more with these wonderful facilities. Uh, and everyone is excited about this uh, project. We might have chosen not to do it during a pandemic, but my goodness, it's a, it's, it's, it's a real achievement with, uh, with so many people involved and wonderful support from our community to make this possible. And how will this enhance the uh, MOBOT's mission overall? Well, one of the most important things we can ever do is to, is to explain and to introduce people to the world of plants, to make sure that they fully understand how uh, plants are essential for all our lives. And we, have, we will have great new opportunities to do that, because without plants, there, is, there can be no life on Earth. Uh, and this is, the, the, the garden is one of the great centers for conservation and research of plants and we have one of the world's largest living collections of plants uh, anywhere uh, and so they will get a chance to be introduced to that and to see the extraordinary diversity of the world's uh, plant species. Well thank you so much for giving us a couple of minutes I know it's a very busy morning so we really appreciate it here at five on your side and you guys are just giving everybody else another reason to get out there and enjoy everything you guys have. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Thank you, and we look forward to visiting, uh, having so many visitors coming uh, over the next few days, and indeed to all of the great festivals that are coming up, Japanese Festival uh, in September, Best of Missouri Market, and indeed Garden Glow uh, over the holidays too. So lots going on at the garden. You guys are always busy. Such a great time, a St. Louis staple, surely.